Okay, well, you know, I thought it might be a good follow-up after the three autophagy videos to do kind of a wrap-up because the underlying message is that sleep isn't long enough to get you into the longer forms of autophagy like chaperone-mediated autophagy to get rid of these old broken proteins. And if they build up, well, that's what causes cells to go senescent. I mean, senescence is this buildup of old proteins that are not being dealt with, like the fireplace that's never cleaned out. It ends up putting smoke all over the house, the smoke weeps out of the house, and just like that, these chemical degenerating byproducts from the senescent cells weep out of the pores of those senescent cells and contaminate surrounding cells and put stress on the body. It's a bad thing all the way around. It's a bad apple in the barrel idea. So the idea here is how do you fix this? Well, obviously dry fasting. Dry fasting gets rid of toxins and all this stuff, seven days of getting rid of all these broken proteins. But during the year, what do you do to prevent senescence? Well, I take the physidin, of course. Physidin gets rid of senescent cells. And because of that, it removes the ones that are going to accumulate by the time you do an next dry fast, so it makes it easier, okay, on your dry fast period. But that's how to do it. The other way to do it, of course, is to do intermittent fasting. Don't break the fast at breakfast. You know, you need to be able to extend that period of autophagy while you're awake, just like dry fasting does, but you don't need to do it day on end like in a dry fast. You just wait till like noon to eat. Eat between noon and four, five, or six. You know, the idea is if you want to control your weight, have a specific window of feeding so that the accumulation of fats and so forth is only during that period. Um, and you just end up keeping on chaperone mediated autophagy after you wake up for four or five hours. That's a good solution because that does give you time to get some of these old proteins broken up. Um, during your first seven day dry fast, you'll notice that a lot of the stuff just exits the body. It takes care of all that garbage and it's, it's done as this kind of a weird orange goo that you, that comes out at the end of it, <laughs> at your end of it. And, uh, you'll see in subsequent dry fast, you get less of that because a lot of that stuff has been removed from the body that's been you know, accumulating for decades, perhaps, depending on how old you are. Um, but during the year, a little physicin during the year, intermittent fasting, you can control the amount of broken proteins that are left inside of cells, which controls the amount of senescent cells that are created and obviously the amount of chemicals that they're excreting or secreting. So that's my advice is take the autophagy videos for what they mean is that sure, during the evening you get big cargo, little cargo, some of the cell stuff fixed, but you don't get rid of the big proteins. You got to be able to extend that time in autophagy to get rid of them and there's ways to do it. Visitin, intermittent fasting, and of course dry fasting, which works brilliantly. Anyway, that's it for today and I will talk to you soon.